Hello everyone. Now we will continue with water chapters, types of questions. And uh, next day I will take test on this chapter. So I hope you all are revising this. Now uh, coming from some give reason best question. From this chapter we can have give reason best question mini. As for example, previous day we had a discussion why water is universal solvent. Second, on keeping a packet of blue vitriol for a long time, why the blue vitriol packet turns white? The answer will be as blue vitriol is a fluorescence, for keeping it long time outside, gradually it will liberate its water of crystallization, it will turn to amorphous texture and as the waters of water of crystallization is removed, it will get converted to white powder. Second question can be why the level of concentrated sulfuric acid bottle increases if it is kept open. Considered sulfuric acid being hygroscopic, it absorbs moisture from the atmosphere and due to that the level of the bottle increases. Next we can have why hard water cannot be used in the boilers in factories. Hard water contains a huge number of different kinds of salts. So in boilers when we are boiling water in a large quantity due to the deposition of those insoluble substances in form of their carbonates then they form an insoluble coating over it and the heat cannot cross that insoluble coating very easily and extra fuel get wasted and that is why it is not used in the boiler. Now for one more question, global salt solubility initially increases and then decreases with temperature. Why? Because global salt as we know it has water of crystallization when we are uh, adding it in water initially on increasing temperature due to the presence of water of crystallization that get dissolved. But on heating continuously the water molecules presence inside gets coming out from it and the solubility decreases. Then can be questions, uh, here, here we do not have any distinguished type, uh, distinguished chemically type of question from this part that we had in previous chapter. So from this chapter we do not have any distinguished chemically type of question. Now simply water, uh, why water is polar, this question I think you do not have, you do not have. Only the terms you have that this water is polar and it has high dielectric constant value. Now definition is another important question because we have many definitions from this part like water of crystallization, deliquitions, hygroscopic, efflorescence, solution. These terms can come as definitions. Uh, one more reason or difference can come. Uh, hard water, soft water difference. Then uh, difference between uh, hygroscopic substance and dehydrating substance. This also we had discussion that hygroscopic substance they absorb moisture but do not make any change in that comp compounds. The compounds chemical composition does not get changed. But dehydrating substance when they absorb water, they absorb the water molecule which is bonded to the particular compound. So when we are, we are adding dehydrating substance to that particular substance, what happens It take out the water of crystallization, the entire inside structure gets stained and sometimes colors, texture also gets changed. So there uh, and in fact a new compound also forms like uh, if you are treating dehydrating substance like concentrated H2SO4 to the sugar then sugar will form a black color charcoal. So there is a total change in the composition. So this difference also can come. So we have these parts from this water chapter. More you will understand when I will be giving you the revision test question. You can you can um, at least have an idea that how the question comes. And also short question that give example of a substance whose solubility increases with temperature, decreases with temperature and remains same. And can be one application based question like how unsaturated solution can be made saturated by adding the more amount of solute will be the answer. So this type of short questions and examples uh, blue vitriol what kind of salt it is or give example of efflorescent salt directly give example of deliquition salts difference between efflorescence and deliquitions and so on so see you in the next class get ready for the revision test take care and bye